everybody, Iron Fist Dragon coming at you with some more Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. Please remember to share and subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, uh, it seems to me I was woefully underprepared when I went into this. And, uh, so I did some grinding, I did some, uh, crime and progress missions. Got some levels some money, a car, and uh, I got some points to spend. I figured I'd spend them on camera because the new skill trees, well, new. Ah, oh, Kabuki. So I definitely want 15 and reflexes. And cool. And then I'm just gonna drop the other two in the body. No. Definitely gonna want air dash. Then we're, okay, muscle memory allows you to reload weapons while sprinting, sliding, and bossing. I didn't think I would need that. But I do. Oops. But I do. It's actually keep finding myself not being able to reload, and it's frustrating. Um, I wonder if that applies to the dash. I don't think. I think it just applies to or dashing, dodging, sliding, sprinting, or vaulting. And I'm wondering if it applies to these. Add dash. Plus, plus 100% dash rage towards enemies. So that's... You can't really use that as a travel power. So I'm definitely going to all three levels of that. Hmm. Improves mid-air maneuverability. Going to get that too. I'm going to make it easy on myself. Lead and steel. Stamina cost for attacks with blades. Ability to block incoming projectiles with blades. This consumes stamina. Now, it shows a katana. And I'm wondering if it will apply to a, a little knife or a heavy machete. Because, I mean, that's, that's marked machete, not blade. That's Mark Knife, not Blade. Machete, another machete. And so on. But So I wonder if I get that, can I deflect bullets with a knife? Like a throwing knife. I don't know. Let's see, we got him cool. Oops. Juggler. Instant cooldown reset for throwable. Oh, yes. Yes. You get your knife back right when. If you finish the enemy, you get your knife back right away. Absolutely, I'm taking that. I'm wondering how much emphasis I should put on stealth. Act of Mercy. Press F when enemy's health is low. I'll do a finisher, but you get 25 health if you do a finisher. After retrieving a throw knife or axe from an enemy, your first melee attack with that throwable weapon needs 200 damage. That's pretty cool. Plus crit damage stacks five times. 20% crit damage whenever juggler is activated. So that's, and stacks five times, that's 200% damage. There's another one that dealt 200% damage. I wonder if those stack to 400%. Hmm. I 
again. This is. I don't know if I should get through this. Guaranteed crit hits with throwable weapons when crouching, sprinting, sliding, dodging, or dashing. Oh, okay, yeah. I gotta get these to unlock that. Unlocks the ability to sprint route while crouching. Hmm. You know, let's. Let's see what we got for body. Unlocks health regen and combat. Sure, why not? I'm gonna start with that anyways, right? Plus one. Oh! Plus one health regen rate. Plus one health regenerate for each percent of missing health. Okay, I'll take that. That was an accident, but I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Die. LMGs and HMGs. No, it's not. It's melee weapon. Yeah, see, I'm only going to... Really, only gonna want the center column. Okay. While sprinting nearby enemies, cyberware. Do I have relic points? I do not. Unlocks. Throwable weapon finisher. Okay, you know what? I do want that. Alright. I think I'm going to have to get 20 in cool. It used to be in the old perk tree. You didn't necessarily have to get 20. You could get away with 16 or 18 and then you'd have a couple of extra points to put into something else but it looks like you got to go all the way to 20 on these that's fine you're gonna have uh with phantom liberty max level goes up to 60 so that's 10 extra points this time so yeah i guess i'm a badass now Nope, it didn't didn't work as a way to save the wait, hang on. I think this is a sand of Istan that reduces fall damage. Oops. Yeah, minus thirty percent fall damage. But I I tried to use it as a safety, as an emergency, and it didn't work. I guess you already have to be activated for it to work. Oh, right. My new car. I bought this car. This, I think this is the pre-order. That should show you how much I like this game. This is the first time I've ever pre-ordered anything in my entire life. It's a nice car, too. So this car is actually handles pretty well. For being a big car with a big motor. It's got good brakes, which is important. But it's still just big. And that's the problem for city driving. Big cars just don't work. I mean, at high speeds, I mean. But it's definitely got much, much better handling than a Type 66. That's for sure. So this is the muscle car you want for good handling. Type 66 is a muscle car you want when you want to show off. This one reminds me of a GTO, Pontiac GTO. Or it's somewhere between a GTO and a Barracuda. You gotta have a body or technical ability of 12. And I talked to this guy, he doesn't seem to know anything. At least not that I can tell. Hi there. What do you need, boss? Hey, I can't just talk to him. Show me what, Let's you, see what got. you got. 
dreamiest shit you ever seen. What are we doing here? Oh, right. You know, I made some money. I'm going to try this out. But, no, max health by two. Not two percent, but two. Hmm. Expired MREs, yummy. I'm going to buy that. Even though I probably don't need it. How's biz? How's biz? Eddie's flowing. Nah, Chew. Delta Crash got everyone sketching. Half a dog towns chasing Rosalind Myers like bitches in heat. Shit's fake news. But tomorrow's another day. These no Ronald shop always got what they need. Tell me about has been around D-Town. Around? Shit, player. This is my home turf. Who do you think I am? Hmm. You talking to the Pacifica Typhoon, Chun? A.K.A. the DT Prodigy. Yeah, okay, that one ain't my fave. Uh, when they was pumping me with boosters, could blast 100 meters in 6.0. Yeah, you heard right. Now I ain't do hardly a hundred a day, no more. But what I'm saying is, hell yeah, I've been around. Typhoon Ronnie, huh? You serious? Scan the old screamers if you were doubting. Old Ronnie was a legend in the making. Oh, man. In the making. How'd your uh, rising star suddenly flop? Well, there's this chick, Fiona. It had this um center for gifted youth and shit. Future sports stars. All good, right? We, we talking uh, roof overhead, real food, training, boosters and chrome. Uh, heaps of chrome, Chew. Shit was all rainbows and roses till you stumbled. And Chew, I fucking wiped out. Landed in the D-Town street with mean-ass migraines and insomnia. And I was lucky, too. Tell me about Details what you know about the district. What do you know? Huh. Which ones, my man? Golden Pacific be in the north of D-Town. I got this hill there, Luxor Heights. Name makes a promise and delivers. Cream views, 10 out of 10. Longshore Stacks is the west side. Place got history, feel me? Uh, south is Terracognita. You best stay the fuck clear of there. to say first time in the hood so Tara got any travel tips as I say steer the fuck clear of Terra Cognita hm. the place was a fucking Quan's paradise years back talking space flight chrome of the future all sorts of tech shit and fry your skull sponge now nothing but dirt and dust and scab red ass motherfuckers running the place sounds like you a go place to, to Terra grind Cognita, you a corpse incognita. <laughs> you get it? Incognita. <laughs> Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah. Well, what you think? Got some pretty unique places around here. This hood just exuding clever now, ain't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I don't. He just tells me about stuff. It's like a tour guide, and not really the clue outside the mission. He seems like he might be the one with the clue on how to get in there.
And whatever that buzz is. So what am I? Ah, uh, hang on. Have I, I don't think I've been down that way. team operative with massive trauma and food and booze instead of medicine great Also, I found this golden shotgun. I'm wondering if I should keep it as my sidearm. Situations just like that. Download operational data. New attack software. Oh, that's nice. Relic point. I don't think I'm ever going to be using optical camo. And I probably won't be using any arm mods till much later. So I'll probably just use this. So yeah, do you, do you get in there? Access point. CE9. Do 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 one CE9. I don't have a cyber deck. Do this without a cyber deck. Oh nice. It's like a Carrying capacity shard? Permanently increased carrying capacity by two. That's cool. So this is just like a really good treasure chest. That's cool. So where is this new gun? Pie gun. Power revolver. Well, the color matches my vest. But that's Kang Tao, right? Kang Tao orange. Here. I have a feeling it's level locked or stat locked. And I'm going to have to get three points in, in uh, body. So I guess let's do some missions and stuff.
Okay, it says it's a revolver that's got 10 ammo. That's cool. That's that's a lot of ammo for a revolver. Wait, did I read that right? Yeah, power revolver. Headshot damage, armor penetration, burn chance. Fires explosive round. Okay. I like it. I just draw people's attention. Like, hey, did you just turn off my music? Got it right back. Yeah, that's awesome. If you finish them in one shot, you get the knife right back. I love it. There's a lot of health boosters. I find a lot of health boosters around. I gotta get in the habit of just using them. Oh, he's sick from being poisoned. Was oh, that a gun? Yeah, throwing knives at a gun, real good. It worked. <laughs> Money shard. Tier five. Wow. Nine thousand euro dollars. Thank you very much, sir. I don't know why I'm grabbing those. I don't use enough to always need to be re upping them. Oh, come on. Come on. Explosive rounds and fire damage. Damn, this thing is going to be. Thank you. 
his gun is OP. That gun, though. <laughs> Cyberware capacity shard, tier 5. That's awesome. Ah, oh, I did it again. Use the health booster. Oh wow, man. They redid the Voodoo Boys. They look pretty cool now. I mean, they looked pretty cool before, but these guys are... I mean, look at that guy. He's scary. They make their cybernetics look like bones. You know what this gun feels like? It's Johnny's gun. It's, it, 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 you use it differently, but it has that powerful feeling like Johnny's gun does. Move, move, move. Oh, that didn't give me something. That didn't give me an inhaler. Oh, Ran out of medicine. Let's try some item. Oh my god. Two of those.
I mean? Activating defense systems, 40%. That invisible, or am I seeing things? Sorry, I couldn't resist. This fight reminds me of the Mechanist fight from Fallout 4. Damn, did I just defeat him with DOT? More medicine. Damn. Thank you. That was a cool boss fight. I like that. I foresee creative but oh man, they had shotguns. I foresee creative boss fights of this DLC. A big ass robot and then a bunch of humanoid robots. Oh god. It's just gonna be nothing but robots? Okay, so where's the OG? Oh wait, he's up here, right? Uh, 
Oh, 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 wow. Okay, smart pistol, iconic. Headshot damage, armor penetration, lock on time, crit damage. Cool. Smart link. Don't need one, but that's a cool treasure to get. So yeah, I like that they're using the Voodoo Boys music for the fight music. The the other vanilla or well, the base game music wasn't bad, but it was real intense, and the Voodoo Boys music was slightly less intense. So that's the guy I want to kill. And so you got nothing on me. Okay. No goes a corpse already, but you still got a choice. Whoever you are, I advise you to step back. You'd only waste your bullets on Do I use a knife? I am Agent Alan Well, Netwatch. No, I just Organized use a crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. I don't fuck with Netwatch. Okay, Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch, Organized Crime Specialist. Get out of my way. <laughs> At least let me unplug from Nico. Fine. But so much as a twitch, and you're a flatline. That's better. Listen to me. You can't kill Miliko. Not yet. Want to stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Miliko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy work for you? Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? Actually, I would recommend you get as many different Voodoo Boys as you can all the way up and down the coast. Get as many different... Think it true. Mm -hmm. To you, these victims are numbers in a file. No names, no faces. Well, my client does have a name. No, and no! Ah! Uh. She'll die if I don't do my job. You think I don't know that? Pulling Milko's plug will not save Indira's life. <sighs> He'll just be replaced. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Of course not. Last thing on his... The fucking corpo. Couple you won't do it, like him, right? All the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Hmm. Guess you'll have to manage without Milko. Do not do this. Really? That guy was too easy. I mean, I guess I did just come off a 
boss, right? They're not trying to be assholes about it.